Hey, what's going on, YouTube watchers? Okay, this is my 91 Ford Taurus SHO. I have always wanted to put my SHO on YouTube. I've watched many really cool videos of people with their SHO, so I'm going to put my white baby on here now and uh, let you guys take a look at it. And I'd love your feedback on it. That'd be great. So, as you may know, this is a first-gen SHO, like the Robocop Taurus, if you've ever seen that movie. But if you look closely at mine, I put 93 tailpipes on mine. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. But if you look closely, I have a dual exhaust going right clear out of my bumper. There's a little better shot right there. Looks pretty cool. Can you see that pretty good or not? Here we go. I like it personally. I do miss the little Knight Rider tailpipes that it originally came with, but I just thought, hey, why not put 93 tailpipes on it and see what it does? And I've actually gotten a lot of compliments from it at car shows. Being that this SHO is the Oxford White, if I get on it really hard, which is not that often anymore, uh, a lot of like rust comes out of the tailpipes and hits the bumper. And then I got to use um, bathroom cleaner. And I'm not kidding with that to get it off. But I like it for sure. I got like police interceptor aqua tread tires on it and uh, they do a pretty good job actually with the rain I'll show you the front of it the front probably looks just like your first gen if you have one I do have to fix that right there I don't know why this happened but for some reason paint just decided to come off but uh, we'll get her fixed, hopefully. I would show you the engine, and when I do another video of it, I will. The hydraulic latches that hold the hood up, there's two of them. And I had to remove them because they did not hold the hood no more. So I really cannot get the hood up right now and hold the phone at the same time. Maybe I'll try, but let me show you the inside. Oh, get this. This is one thing I absolutely love about the 90s Fords that they made. I get such a kick out of this. It unlocks my door. Unlocks all four doors. And there went the trunk. And of course, you know, that locks all my doors. I love this car. So anyway, let's get in it real quick. Take a look at the inside. It's a little dirty right now. So I do drive the car every day. This went nice out. It's got the all black leather interior. My seats are cracking though. Now for all you fellas that have the first gen SHOs, I'm sure you know that this part here fails so easily. And I don't know why, but the passenger seat just loves to rip compared to my own. But uh, I cannot get over how nice the back seat is on mine doesn't get used that much. Probably when I was younger. <laughs> hint, hint, nudge, nudge. But uh, I get a kick out of the Lincoln interior this car has. Pretty cool. Let me sit in the seat here real quick. So it's got the basic gauges on it. I don't know why on earth Ford would not give you more gauges than just a temperature gauge. High performance car. Why they just gave you a temperature gauge. I don't understand, but they just did. I wish I had oil pressure and a battery gauge, that'd be nice. And I had to take the factory cassette deck out because I was so sick of that. And have an Alpine in there. Sounds pretty good. Not bad. You know. And uh, my shifter booty is the original. It's in pretty good shape still, I will say. But still grabs gears real nice. For a car that's 25 years old, I still have the original gearbox in it. No problems at all there. My pedals are in good shape still. I think you see all that down there. 
Yeah, the car really does perform well. And I guess I will see if I can get the hood up real quick. Come on. Put you down for a second. Okay, here we go. Okay. It's a stock SHO engine. I haven't done much to it at all. Keep it pretty clean. I absolutely love that. Believe it or not, I take the, my SHO to car shows a lot in my town. And it does draw a crowd, believe it or not. I mean, you get a lot of people that walk up to me and say, Hey, I had one of those once. But uh, it's in pretty good shape. The only thing right now is the AC will not blow cold. And you guys out there that can help me out with that. Do you think maybe I could recharge it? But uh, it's just blowing warm air right now, as you can see. Just let me come over here and take a look and see what she looks like on the side. I guess I get the whole car in there. Here's no doubt, this car is still ahead of its time. Don't you guys agree? It's still fast. I mean, these first gens, I think, were the fastest SHOs they made back in the day. I think it's actually faster than the second gens. I drove a second gen, and my white one totally blew its doors off when the other guy drove it. So, I'm pretty proud of it. I could still bury the needle at 140 miles an hour and it still accelerates. So I think it does 140 plus. Most of the time, I would run out of guts before it runs out of tap end. The car still scares me. <laughs> so this concludes this video for now. Uh, maybe another time I'm gonna start it for you guys. You can hear it. Maybe even see if I can set the phone up. I'll take it for a ride and you guys can see how it looks when I'm driving it. So your input would be great. I'd love to hear your suggestions on it. Okay? So thanks a lot for watching. Talk to you later.